Hey there, good morning everyone. Friday the 23rd of June 2023. This morning's devotional is a reading from Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16 which reads, This is what the Lord says, Stand and look, ask for the ancient paths, ask where the good way is and walk in it and you will find rest for your souls. But you said, we will not walk in it. How a person responds to a crisis or disaster speaks a lot about what, what's happening inside of them. When things are not going well, there is a tendency for the older folk to become cynical, critical, judgmental, and even rebuke those who are younger. You know the mentality, I'm older so therefore I know better. Having had years of experience, it is very easy for us to see immediately what's wrong with the world especially with the people in the world. And we are very clear in letting the people know that things are most definitely not the same way as they used to be, and that if we were in control, it wouldn't be that way either. It's so much easier to see the faults of the other person, especially if they are younger or less educated, or perhaps might even just have a different view of things. We might even get irritated with ourselves that we didn't think of that view either. When you find yourself getting cynical and you really don't want to do that, go back and read the Old Testament book of Jeremiah. He wrote two books during his lifetime, the book of Lamentations and the book named after himself, Jeremiah. You see, things as are today were also coming apart during his lifetime. God told him to prophesy against his own nation, denouncing them for turning their backs on God and informing them that they were going to Babylon, not in cars, but in chains. So when you feel yourself slipping into the despair of things aren't as good as they used to be, remind yourself that God is unchanging and that his purposes are going to be accomplished whether or not you or I or to be part of his team that he uses. As the Jeremiah, remind yourself that God, not you, is the one who dishes out punishment for wrongdoing. Jeremiah saw everything that was wrong, and he wrote in Jeremiah 6 verses 13 to 15, From the least to the greatest, all are greedy for gain, prophets and priests alike. All practice deceit, they dress the wounds of my people as though they were not serious. Peace, peace, they say, when there is no peace. Are they ashamed of their loathsome conduct? No, they have no shame at all. They do not even know how to blush. Something, I can just see a lot of resemblance here. The most important thing for us of all to remember is this is get your eyes on the Lord and not on what you dislike. Along with Jeremiah, when you see God moving and acting, your heart will also cry out, How great is thy faithfulness! My dear friends, we need to realize and accept the fact that life will go on with or without us as God, until God's purposes in our lives and in our world has been established. Fight that urge to be judgmental and critical, Allow God to do His work and be willing to be part of His team. Come alongside the people. Don't be judgmental or critical. Some homework for us to do this weekend, and it's a lot of homework. My dear friends, may the Lord be with us. May He protect us. May He cause His face to shine upon us and be with us always. Goodbye.